New sense power activated. From a, a dream with a pebble. It's clearer than a thread, than his thread power. Demon Slayer, episode three. The sword and the stone. Sword and the robot. <laughs> he just that so quickly. <laughs> I'll just be hella confused. Yeah, pull it out, but only if you are worthy. <laughs> yeah, that took a lot of convincing. Oh my god. Speaking of history. Oh, I thought it was blood. Can't you clean it? You don't have rust remover in this universe? And then an ogre appeared for some reason. The show is so chaotic. <laughs> I'm still chewing on that dream sequence, honestly, with the, the pebble in the water. I mean, he was pushed to the brink of death from hunger by his five-year-old mentor that he just decided to listen to because he's, he's Tanjiro and can't say no. And he's crossing the bridge to the afterlife. But he doesn't quite make it. He doesn't die. He's like almost dead. He falls into the water. And in the water, he's grabbed by like hands, I think, of his ancestors, maybe, and guided into this pearl of wisdom, maybe. Did he actually obtain some some connection to his ancestors? Was it just like a, a survival instinct that kicked in? A will to live? Some kind of limit break? The kind that you get from excessive damage? Hard to say. I hope they touch on it again. I would love to hear your guys' theories on, on what it meant. What was that sequence? Why did he gain new insight, a new skill from the starvation caused by listening to a five-year-old master? When I get hungry, I just get irritable. Tanjiro's over here learning how to smell underwater. Episode three, a sword from over 300 years ago. A sword from over 300 years ago in a robot that has very similar earrings. Whoa, 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 you just let Tanjiro do all the work? You just swoop in to get the 300-year-old 300 300-year-old blade? My dude's ripped, though. Respect. I've been around, I've been lurking. Just lurking in the trees. Damn, after all that work, just gonna let it let him snatch it like that. How did he first discover this? That's kind of sweet, actually. Here I was expecting him to just kill Tanjiro. Just murder him. Maybe he's just tired of making new ones. Gee, I wonder why. I shall wipe it until the rust is gone. <laughs> yeah, it's a very, very uh, grand way to say that. Somehow his training made him taller, too. From polishing a sword? Speaking of abundant social skills. Oh, sweet Tanjiro. <laughs> The one you threw at me. What the hell is going on? Why do you still have the tooth? Where were you keeping it? You just had that at the ready. So many little mysteries in this arc so far. That's that A plus Nezuko dialogue I've been looking for. But why? <laughs> why? <laughs> I don't think Nezuko's even listening. She might just be in her own little kawaii world. This guy's just too happy. Something bad's about to happen. If I know anime, no one is allowed to be happy. Run. Run. I don't like it. Indeed, it's probably there's the hazard. <laughs> there it is. Oh, oh my God! He just got smushed real good. Told you, told you. When will these anime characters learn? <laughs> what did you get out of that? What did the vase get out of that? Oh God, I hate this design. This is exciting and terrifying because I feel like as much as Tanjiro's trained this arc, it doesn't feel like he's done, he's made as much progress as he usually does before the, the demon encounter. Like, he was training against that rock for, for a good year and a half. Someone's gonna die. It's 
あ、<笑> I was about to say one of the things I like about Tanjiro so much is that the dude is kind because he's kind. You know, there's no expectation of any sort. Especially in this arc, he meets so many people who are just rude to him. And it just doesn't phase him at all. Like, he's just always unapologetically Tanjiro no matter who he's up against. It's possible that he's just oblivious, right? But I don't think that's it. I just think he's got such an authentic and natural core where it's just what he wants to be and who he actually is as opposed to, like, you know, being kind as a formality. And for that matter, even if it is stupidity, it's stupidity because of that very thing, you know, because it's just, he's so great. It just wouldn't land. It wouldn't register when other people people are not as kind to him. In the case of the Hashira, I feel like I've learned better from the show than to prejudge them based on their gruffness. Like, for one, they're up against death constantly. They don't live very long. That might explain partially why they, they don't seem to even bond with each other, but they always grow on me. With, with this guy, I don't know if it's real meanness. His mannerisms appear rude, but if I had to try to find an, a nicer attribution for that, it might just be that he's just ultra focused on what he's doing and his tasks. I suspect he'll warm up to Tanjiro a lot once he sees that Tanjiro's life and values and dedication are very similar to his own. It's just Tanjiro has room for all of it. And even if it doesn't, you know, which I think it does, it's its own reward for him. Thanks. After all I do for you, carrying you on my back in a huge ass box. Yes. Yes. Again, yes. <laughs> yes, but I get it. There are a lot of characters. I get confused too. They both sensed it. Good luck to the both of you. Three of you. This is where it all begins. Jumping right into action. No hesitation. Oh, and he didn't even touch him. I love the, the power scaling of the show. Miss Hashira is just, like way ahead of Tanjiro in certain ways. Can't even touch him. Can't even touch the demon. This is where they become best friends. Nezuko got him. Wonder how long he can keep holding that back before he really needs it. Yeah, but something tells me that's not it. That was just way too easy. Yep, there it is. He just doubled them. Like some kind of worm. Starfish. Oh no, he's dead. He just died. Bye. <laughs> he was a cool character while it lasted. Looks like he just got stronger, too. Oh, we got another I'm having so much fun demon. Something tells me this, this demon can be split into more than two. It's a new season. It's going to be even more hard than before. We're just not ready. We're just not, not ready. I, it just feels wrong. Maybe he'll get a new ability. He's got a gun! That just upped his power ranking in my mind by a million. No, I don't... I don't think that's a good idea. I'm having so much fun, I'm having so much fun! Whoops. It's so crazy, you gotta figure out the, the trick each time too. Not only is their power level vastly superior, but they have like specific and hidden ways to die. I wonder how deep it goes. Did he just die? Maybe stop slashing at them. Land on your head, okay. Oh, he's alive. That's good. And then the fish. The fish, for some reason. Very calculating. 
あれは本体ではなく術で生み出さる totally different from Tanjiro. 技術や能力の高いものを優先して守らなければ I mean, I get it. It's not wrong. But Tanjiro's view is just so much more satisfying to me. 未熟な刀鍛冶の卵一人足す Is he trying to talk himself out of it? Maybe he'll go back. 人のためにすることは巡り巡って自分のために Tanjiro already having an influence. <laughs> Yeah, that feels good. Save the kid. Well, I love how the slash arrived before he did. This is, I mean, this is kindness for this guy. Huge kindness. These episodes are, they feel like they're five minutes long. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. We're, it's all good. Everything's good. No worries. Thank God. <laughs> Hard to focus on the Taisho era secret given the fact that a demon just showed up. An upper rank demon. And it doesn't even seem like it's the demon. It, it seems like it's just a demon. An upper rank demon. The main dude seems like it's going to be uh, the urn. But little do they know we have an ace up our sleeve. We have the, the love Hashira. And I can't wait to see her, her involvement, her role in this arc. In this episode, I also think it's hilarious how Tanjiro just suggested to Miss Hashira that he should like do nice things for others. And he's like, you know what? I think you're right. As if nobody had ever suggested that to him before. I mean, maybe that's all it is. Seems like he's pretty isolated. Seems like he uh, doesn't spend much time involved with others. Now that he and Tanjiro are basically together in this life or death struggle, I'm sure even more of it will rub off on him. And I kind of hope that the kid comes back to play a key role because that would be very directly what Tanjiro said coming true with Miss Hashira's kindness coming back to repay them. I have a feeling it's going to turn out to be vital somehow. It's only three episodes in, but there's already so much going on in this arc. There's two upper rank demons here, two Miss Hashira. We got a new sword coming. Tanjiro unlocking new powers from new death experiences caused by him following a five-year-old master for some reason. Tanjiro not wanting to use Nezuko, which I feel like is going to be a choice that happens sooner than I thought. How do you resist that temptation in the middle of this struggle? It seems like she's the one with the most power potential as of right now. I didn't expect the demons to show up this episode just because, like I said before, I feel like Tanjiro's training feels kind of insignificant. Like, you know that with each demon, it's going to get harder and harder. So Tanjiro's level needs to rise to that extent as well. But as far as we've seen, my feeling about it is that there wasn't really as much leveling up as usual. Season one, he had that whole rock arc and mountain expedition to gain his hero license. Season two, there was like a long training, training arc with the breathing thing. Here, aside from the weird river pearl dream, which I'm still trying to figure out, he had kind of like a, a mechanical, very mechanical training against the six arm robot thing. How does he fill that gap, the talent gap, mid battle with two upper rank demons? My guess is it's going to be one of those things where this is the initial encounter and then they separate for a bit, giving him time to learn key skills. Or this could just be the beginning of an insane action arc that just continues to ramp up and up and up.